G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today I'll be starting a playthrough of Minmax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat on a 2D plane within a 3D environment. Did I also mention the zombies? I absolutely love this gem of a game and it's recently went through several updates I can't wait to see. Now, let's get to it. Okay, we're going to be starting a new sandbox campaign and we're going to start off with the faction sizes and the faction strength all the way down so we're going to be rather weak uh, bandit population um, we'll start off with them with not too many hives yet we'll put their strength all the way down as well because from uh, wait a sec is there more options here I think so uh, okay now, perk choices per level, I'll leave that at normal. Zombie timer. Oh, let's leave it at 30. That should make for a really interesting game. Um, infected asteroid chance is fine. Zombie ambush. Now, last version I played had the zombie ambushes happening even before the zombie outbreak. I don't mind the infected asteroid showing up before the outbreak because... Uh, that's how it is in the story campaign as well. Uh, that's how the outbreak restarts after the events of of the first Baz game. Um, but the zombie ambush, no, I'll put that down to zero. I'll have to check later if um, that's been changed or not. Uh, level up speed, normal, and ignore the player until level five. Uh, and starting level I'll leave at zero. So let's get started. Uh, with a playthrough of Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Uh, difficulty level, I'll just leave it normal. And oh, that's the synthesized voices. Uh, it looks like they haven't added in regular speech yet, so we'll leave them off because they're a bit disconcerting. Now, what I'm going to focus on right at the start is... Um, picking up scrap when they're in high concentrations and also picking up law for experience. Now this wreckage I will leave alone. Here I am, so what's this place anyway? Okay, it's it hasn't been taken yet anyway, what am I thinking? Okay, so we'll move to this scrap and even though it's not full, so we won't get the, the double you'll get when it's full, the chances of um, picking up a full scrap field without fighting for it are minimal anyway. So we'll take that. The whole plan is to basically explore as much as we can before the zombies show up and pick up scrap, pick up res, and pick up lore since that's pretty much free experience as well as some res and scrap. So, let's move here. We're only at um, cruising speed at the moment. Um, we'll just scan these. Uh, because, obviously, A, it would take a heap of time to read through them all, and B, I wouldn't want to spoil anything if any of you want to buy the game and play the story campaign. Um... Actually, I might nip over here. How am I doing for goons? I can't remember. I think you can double up on your goons without um, causing problems to the ship. But uh, since my maximum capacity is 60 at the moment, I better not pick up 85. Then again, I think you might be able to jettison some of your goons. Damn, it's been so long since I've played. That's part of the fun of it. And they've made so many new introductions that uh, I'm just dying to see. Especially the, the little ships. They've changed from pretty much being just boring fighters 
to being like the small ships in uh, the first Space Pirates and Zombies. Uh, stop giving me goons, I want the rest of the stuff. And what the hell happened? Oh, I must have auto-picked it up already. Okay, okay, 145 is fine. It must be four times the maximum limit then. Let's explore up here. What do we got? We got another lore. We got some goons, which we definitely don't need. We got a tiny bit of scrap. Looks like somebody else has picked it up. So we'll go straight for the lore. And scan that. Okay, somebody's already picking that up. So again, we'll just go for the law. Scan that in. Who's going in a hurry towards something? Okay, Resfield, it looks empty. Yeah, empty ish. Um, yeah, until the zombies show up, we'll probably be struggling for uh, res a bit. Uh, of course, we've got them set to show up in a mere 30 minutes, so that's going to be interesting. As you can see, the timer only clicks down when you're actually moving or doing something such as salvaging. Woo, I nearly missed that res field. What am I doing? Ransack 117. Um... I wonder if anybody's going to show up for it. Because if nobody else shows up for it, I might be able to get it at full. Um, nobody's coming, nobody's coming. Come on, don't you come down here. I don't want to share it. There we go, 120. Oh, hasn't clicked over to massive yet. 120, 120, come on. Don't suppose I've just added a wait button. There we go, 240, harvest that baby. Oh yeah, that will do me for quite a while. Okay, now that's just a big area, so we might as well, unless we're going to go around, we might just go to here, oop, there. Okay, so that's a faction ship. Um, just trying to think, how do you... I can't actually remember all the um, faction names. It's been so long. Let's go to factions. Okay, the lone captains, they're basically yeah, the, the uh, black and white guys like myself who aren't affiliated with any faction. Um, depending upon your relations, when you form your own faction later, um, they can be easy or difficult to recruit. Uh, the civilian ascendancy, excuse me, uh, so they're green. Uh, each faction also has a specialty, or their parts have a specialty. Uh, I think civilian ascendancy is whole strength. Uh, or is void militia whole strength. Uh, once we uh, start playing a bit, I'll remember everything. I remember Sun Hunters is speed, um, and Sovereignty of Space is shield power. That's uh, every one of their parts has bonus shield power, if I remember correctly. So, um, that scrap field's not really coming along yet. We'll nip over here. Oh, wait a sec. No, that's a mining op. Um, I can get a tiny bit of res, but if I want more than that, I'd have to get into a fight with somebody, which would be unwise at my current level of strength. Now, this is owned by the, damn, what are they call it? called? The um, Void Militia, is it? The Red Guys? Yeah, Void Militia. Um, and so if I try and harvest their stuff, I believe they get really annoyed. But I will pick up this law scan. And then we will... I might wait um, until I level up a bit before I buy some stuff because I'm not going to get attacked until I'm level 5 anyway. I'm pretty much safe. Even the pirates won't attack me. Oh, here we are at level 1. So part size increase. I can now have small parts. 
and um, I, so I don't need to use junk parts anymore, which is what I've got. I can up my weapon damage, up my uh, trading, or up my scavenging. Ooh, weapon damage, thank you very much. So that's right, now I can start buying parts. Now, what sort of parts do these guys sell? Now, um, with every place, uh, there's um, a, a type of part. Uh, they're noses, I believe. Yeah, I think they're noses. And basically, if there are so many bases connected together that sell noses, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, if there's two bases connected together that sell noses, they will then sell medium noses. And I believe if it's four, then they will sell large noses. And same with wings and engines. So, um, yeah, because I selected really weak factions to start off just for the fun of it, that isn't going to happen for quite a while, though. And, of course, because I chose zombies coming in at 30 minutes... Everybody might get annihilated. You just never know. Uh, 73 scrap here. That's worth it to stop for. That's a zombie hive. Uh, not a zombie hive, a pirate hive, I mean. And uh, the pirates have far more fighters, or small craft, I should call them. Far more small craft than uh, other ships have. So, especially the larger bases, you can go in and they'll be... I don't know, or there used to be 20 small craft. Uh, oh, no, I don't need any more goons. Uh, I might just pop across this border and see if there's anything of interest. Uh, goons and, ooh, half full scrap field. What I'll do is I'll go get this lore, and if nobody's harvested that scrap field by the time I get this lore, I might go and get it. Otherwise, I'll cross over to here, scan that in. Okay, let's go down here then. And here we go, pirate ships going out on the hunt, but like I said, because I chose... Ah, uh, le oh, you little bastard. Oh no, he left. Okay, and this pirate ship looks like he's going to attack him. Level 3, I've yeah got no weapons worth fighting him with, so I assume this pirate's going to win, in which case then I can scrap the field. Come on, beat the crap out of him. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't tell me that pirate was har- Oh, the pirate was harvesting, he wasn't attacking. Well, that's crapulent, isn't it? Okay, mining up and some law and a res field. Not a lot, but until the zombies show up, there isn't going to be a lot of res floating around, so I might just grab it. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, law right next to me. That makes it easy. Scan that in. Res fields. Uh, oh, yes, I will definitely take that. Now, I could speed up, but no use burning the res yet. Okay, we'll ransack that. And we'll head across this border, see what's going on over here. Okay, goons, which, yeah, I don't need. Goons, you basically use them up cleaning um, uh, infected parts. I'm just trying to think what else they get used for. No, pretty much just cleaning infected parts. They probably die otherwise, I just can't remember. That's the important one, anyway. Nice big pile of scrap. We'll take that. Can't really afford to wait for it to fill up. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? I might actually... Yeah, I might as well just get that scrap and then I'll come down here. I'll get that law. What are we down to? 25 minutes. Okay. Hopefully the factions are starting to spread because... Obviously, I want to buy some weapons before the zombies show up. 
Um, well, I'm going past it, so I might as well scavenge it. Okay. Pop across this border here, and what have we got? We've got the war. Oh my god. Okay, full scrap. Okay, let's do a high res burn just to get here first. And harvest that for 400 scrap. Oh, scrap is the currency in the game. I might have to do a how to play uh, episode and stick it in the barrel um, or something like that. And here we go. We'll scan that in. Slowly exploring the galaxy. Come on. Might be selfish, but I wish um, the map was just a little bit bigger. The problem is they've balanced it all, um, you know, for the bases to um, link together and everything. So, yeah, I'm just being selfish. I just want a bigger map. Another thing I would really love is if you could set it so after each zombie invasion, um, the timer would start again and you would get a bigger invasion and that would just happen again and again but then again i guess i could just start a new game but <laughs> uh health shield strength shield strength all the way shield strength is much more useful um let's cross across this border Okay, we've got a mining up. we got res definitely worth picking up. Ransack that. So, how are we doing for fuel? Oh, 735. We're doing really good. Good amount of cash. Um, so, all we've got is... Oh, how much res we got? 53? Well, I'll pick up the law. And it looks like this guy's already going to get the res anyway. Oh no. Don't know. Did it, maybe that pirate scared him off. Okay, now let's cross over this border. We haven't seen any of the other factions yet. Got to be floating around here somewhere. Looks like that pirate just picked up the res. Okay, the pirates are growing fairly quickly. Which is landing. Hmm. Goons, res, and a law. Just trying to think. I'm fairly sure in my last game I played, I um, built my first base at Watcher's Landing because this place was full. It had like three res deposits. Or was it three scrap, one res, and one goons? And it was just bringing in the resources. But now it's almost devoid of stuff. And where are the other factions? Oh, here we go. Zombie incubation's already at 25%. Okay, that res. Barely worth it. Okay, so that means the orange guys who are... That's right, the miners conglomerate. Um, have offered a bounty for somebody else to establish that place which will increase your reputation. In fact, they may well have offered the full payment to build it, but um, I can't build bases yet. I don't believe not until level 10, if I remember, something like that. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Um, a law, a wreckage, looks like the pirates have kicked the shit out of somebody. Cloning for, oh yeah, that's the res behind it. There is, how do I, a scavenge, 77, 28, no. Not much worth, not much worth it. Me English good. Okay, let's pick up that law. Okay, it looks like mining, mining conglomerate, boo, 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 mining conglomerate is in that portion there. But what I might do is I might just complete this run 
and then I'll cross over and go back around. Okay, what do we got? We got a law down here, empty res. Uh, we'll go down here, we'll pick up the law, and if nobody's picked up that res, we might grab it. Scan in this law. Okay, experience is up to 230, that's good. It's always a slow grind at the start. Just getting up to, well, once I'm up to level 5, I'll pretty much dodge pirates and let the occasional ship attack me over resources. And usually, that works pretty well. Okay, let's go here, I assume. Yep, this guy's harvesting that. But that scrap will do nicely. Okay, so the blue guys must be around here somewhere, and that's the science. Um, something of science. Sovereignty of science, that's it. The shield guys. Grab this scrap, and then I'll come down and grab this law. Okay, can I let it get to 200? There we go, yep, it's glowing. 400, very nice. Okay, that looks like these ships have been destroyed and they're heading back to base for... Um, to rebuild. Unless things have changed when an NPC gets destroyed, in order to get their ship back, all they've got to do is return to base. They don't actually have to rebuild their ship or anything, which is annoying, but... Um, because of that very imbalance, what I'm going to do is if I get wiped out, I'm going to just reload rather than restarting with nothing, because that would be stupid. It'd be, you know, a totally different story if um, the computer had to slowly start from nothing again. But, okay, that res I'm going to burn towards so I can get there first, and then I'll pick up the law. Ransack... Turn back to, what's it called? Not just normal mode, I thought it was called cruising mode. Pick up the law, scan it in. Through 10, okie dokie. Okay, sovereignty of space, and they've got noses as well. Well, I don't really need it. Well, I guess I could put um, point defense on a nose. Um, well, I have got a hell of a lot of scrap now. So I might as well have a look. Uh, purchases on this side. Okay, these are your basic... Uh, sub-cores that extend your ship. Uh, they've also... Well, what, do you, what is this? Flat cannon? Okay, that's new. Um, automated defense turret designed to take down multiple launched weapons. So, I don't know. Has this replaced the point defense? Or it's just better than point defense? Range 400. 400. What is... If they've got a point defense cannon, I'll be able to compare it. Because I'm fairly sure the point defense cannons are only like 150. So, um, a flat cannon might actually be long enough range to hit bombers. Because um, last time I played, the bombers, especially the ion bombers, because they would strip your shields completely and leave you vulnerable to every other bloody attack under the sun. So... If the flat cannons can reach bombers, that, that would be fantastic. Thing is, I'm a little shy of buying one when I can't compare it to a point defense cannon. Ion shotgun. Uh, I remember the regular shotguns. I don't remember ion shotguns. I think that's new as well. Yep, these are all regular lasers, missiles. Yeah, it's always hard to decide what to go with at the start of the game. 
Shotguns are really good. Um, obviously, you're getting close. That one's on the engine, though, so that's pretty much bloody useless. Um, damn, that's expensive, though. 1176. Uh, especially for something I'm just trying for the first time as well. Um, okay, no, I might just wait. Might just wait. So, Sovereignty of Science wants to establish a base at Picker's Rift. Oh, and they've already got a place here. I wonder if the mining conglomerate ended up getting, what was it, this one? Nope, oh, Cowboy Leg. Okay, so Rangers Lookout is engines they sell. Okay, let's pop on over, have a quick look. And we'll pick up that law. Uh, trade. Okay. Subcores. Expensive. Okay. Engine pieces. Down here. Here we go. Uh, minigun. Uh, 120. Yeah, not even 150. Um, but I will definitely buy that because early in the game. Missiles are a killer, followed by strike craft. Oh, that might be another reason why they brought in flat cannons. Maybe it's a strike craft, but then again, regular weapons can hit strike craft. So it'd have to be for the bombers, I'm guessing. Now, assemble ships over here. Okay, so I imagine there's the mother core, the primary core in the center. Now, you can get synergy bonuses by, you know, doing certain things, but, um, to be honest, uh, woo, no, left fire, you bad, bad person. Let's not fire at our own parts. That would be, um, what the hell happened there? Oh, because I didn't take it off first. How do you, okay, it's been a while, is it, hold right? Um, remove part, left control, that's it. I should have just read over here, shouldn't I? Have? And then right click, and I thought it was a right click to place. No? Or is that when you want to replace? Okay. Well, I can tractor it around, but I'm fairly sure there was a easier way of doing it. Okay, why is that? Because it's an engine, you moron. Everybody who has played this game and is watching is probably going, you can right click, but... It actually has to be an engine, Vastima, you moron. Okay, now that I've got that stupidity out of the way, let's go back. Uh, actually, isn't there a quick button to go back to the star map? No, not that I remember. Let's go back to the star map then. Okay, let's get this law. How we doing? Doing pretty well. One more law, and we will be up to level three. Here we go. Let's cross across the border. What do we got? Sorry if this episode's a little slow. It can't really be avoided right at the start of uh, a new game. And I didn't want to play through the story campaign because I didn't want to ruin it for anybody else on the off chance. New core slots. So now I've got four slots. I will do a reactor, so increase my reload time, assemble ship, um, I will temporarily unhook, uh, yes, temporarily unhook the engine and junk parts, oh no, I have to be at a station to equip junk parts, that is correct, I believe, okay. Slowly remembering how to play everything. Okay. Well, mining conglomerate, I believe, is over here anyway. Now, do I want to grab that scrap? Yeah, I might. I might. It's only half full, but... 
Might as well do it. Okay, let's pop over. And its engines as well. Uh, haven't seen any wings yet. Well, that is my own fault for... Okay, we'll jettison the junk, because that's useless. We'll visit the junkyard. And temporarily take off this. And we'll put on a core part, or a sub-core part, I should say. Put the engine back on. And then... Okay, what sort of wings are they? Two micro-blasters. Two micro... Blasters, why are they? Are they just aesthetically different? Oh no, they are exactly the same thing. Don't worry about me. Again. Moron. Remember? Now, put one of these here. Okay, and so we are filled up with junk. Joyous. Okay, let us... I've said okay a lot this episode, haven't I? So there's a link between this place and a place up here, so they've obviously got another base. Oh no, it's up here. Um, which means I can go grab... Oh, no. Oh. Yep. Ransack. Thank you. I got confused for a sec. Who was who? Thought that other guy was about to reach the res. Scan that in. Okay. And I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. If somebody was playing a drinking game to how many OKs I had said so far, I think they'd be fairly drunk by now. Let's pop up here. I would really like to get the entire map scanned in before the zombies show up. Okay, so that... I did it again. <laughs> that bandit hive is getting close to levelling up. Just grab this scrap. Need all the money I can get, after all. Scan that lore in, and then, yeah, let's just keep doing this whole circular thing we got going on. Of course, if this place has got no lore, oh, or well, the lore is down here, we'll just pop across. And mining up, oh, here's the green guys, so this is their main place as well, because it's strength 80. And they've got engines as well. I can't believe it. I'm out of time already. Oh, damn. I was just starting to get into this as well. Well, what I might do is I might just quickly have a look-see in here. And then we might have to call it. What a pack of poo. There is literally nothing I want there. What a shame. Sadly, that's all I've got time for. While I know the first few episodes will be a little grindy, I can promise you that things are going to get a lot more interesting. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Every like is appreciated, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and most importantly, have a good one.